Hey good friends this is Viboria welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to tell you why i read so many books on my kindle device over here and very little very seldom uh, physical books yes i do still read physical books why i read them what is the use case of reading the physical books let's get started now the first reason is pretty obvious guys this is such a small device such a handy device now i've got a pretty old kindle over here this one i purchased uh this is kindle version 2 this one i purchased in 2010 so it's already 11 years old works perfect it has given bang for the buck and i've read more than 150 books on this device till now physical books on the other hand if i need to carry the books with me these are like these bulky and still i need to carry like a lot of books at any given time with me this physical books carrying with me would be really a pain also if i want to purchase a new book it's readily available on the kindle i can go to the amazon store immediately pay the price and purchase the book then and there talking about purchasing the book the physical versions of the book are generally more expensive as well uh, as compared to the digital version now i've got two amazon accounts one in india one is australia I have got my Kindle attached to the Indian account. I tell you why. Uh, because whenever I try to purchase a book in Australia or even in US, uh, the price for a particular book says 15, 18, or 20 dollars. That same book in India would be available for pennies. It's like two or three dollars. Same book in India. So all my books I purchase uh, from India as compared to a physical book, which would be probably 10, 12, 15 dollars over here, it costs me probably two or three dollars in the digital version from india also talking about reading on kindle uh, i am a kind of a guy who would not finish a book and then start a second book i'm a kind of a guy who would continue reading three to five books at any given point in time so currently if i talk about right now i'm reading atomic habits i'm reading uh, do it today on my kindle also, I'm reading uh, Blind Side from James Patterson, which is a crime uh, series novel. I'm, I'm into crime series novels. Sometimes I read them. That's in the physical form. Also, with that, I'm reading a fiction novel series, uh, which is Wheel of Time. Uh, so, yes, so I, I, I constantly read, you know, three to five books at any given point in time. And depending on my mood, depending on where I am uh, with Kindle, uh, it happens that I'm in a train. I'm stuck like I'm, I'm going to commute for the next one hour. I can just pick up my Kindle, start reading on that, any book at any given time, or I can pick up my iPhone, start reading on that iPhone, read a couple of pages. When I come back home, it is going to synchronize back to the location where I have read back on my Kindle. And that's an amazing feature, which I love on my Kindle. Also guys, uh, with regards to digital reading, you find so much stuff online, uh, like your journals, there will be free books which are available and you can transfer them through send to kindle app uh, which you can easily uh, find on windows as well as on mac you can just download that uh, get any pdf version of the book or any journal which is free uh, available online uh, you can send it to your kindle device and that will be delivered to your kindle as a personal document and you can read it on the go also for those guys who are very studious and like to uh, you know mark everything on the books and highlight everything on the book and and write on the margins even for that purposes i like kindle more i tell you why because if i mark anything on a book and which i've been doing since all like for all my uh, you know studious years uh, as a student at that time there were no kindle nothing like that so at that time whenever you mark something on a book that just remains on the book you do not have means to transfer that on another document with regards to kindle when you highlight anything on the kindle there are means to transport the entire book's highlights to a particular document and send it to your email which in uh, now what i do is whenever i read a book i keep on highlighting and marking in the book the paragraph the pages the the words the sentences that resonates to me uh, and i think that i can develop further on that develop my own ideas on that I would mark all of them then uh, when i have finished the book i'll transfer the entire uh, you know highlight sections from that book to a document that goes into obsidian obsidian is my choice of app 
uh, where I create my entire second brain. Uh, so yep, in that repository, the entire things will go, all the highlights will go and I'll create a book summary from that. So next time when I want to read back, go back and read that book and want to refresh my memory, I've got those summaries and also I can create further ideas. I can link my ideas uh, with different books. So yeah, that's that's an amazing thing which you can do in the digital world. On the physical books, it's it's rather difficult to do that. Now that being said, I still read the physical books as the one which I'm reading right now. What I read on physical book is only crime series novels or probably some fiction series because these are the books from which I'll never be taking any highlights. These are more, I treat these more like bedtime stories. So when I am in the bed reading a book, I'll probably fold the page uh, till where I have read the book and toss it away and go back to sleep, right? So uh, this is pretty much my bedtime story sort of thing. I don't want to keep these books. I don't want to keep them in my library. So I'll just probably go to a local library over here, get the book, read it and give them back. But the nonfiction books through which I take so much knowledge and I learn so much, those books I really need on my Kindle. I want to be, I want to have them in my library so that I can go back to those books again and again and read as much as I can. So that is the crux guys. Uh, all the books from which I take knowledge, all the general reading books, all the non-fiction books. So majority of my books, the 99% of reading that I do, that happens through the digital medium that can be Kindle, that can be iPhone, that can be uh, probably my iPad. But all of that is the digital world, the Amazon Kindle section. The physical books are pretty much the storytelling books, the stories that I read during bedtime or probably early morning, that's it. Uh, but majority of the books that I read are on Kindle. Now how I take these notes and how I channelize them into different thoughts and put them into my obsidian vault. I'll make another video about that. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again in my next video. See ya.